Hi, my name is Maddie, and I'm going to be doing um, two different apps in regards to the automated vehicle um, app navigation. So the first one is going to address um, selecting parking through the app for your uh, automated vehicle to park itself in. So the first page will be um, the address for where you want to go. So you would just type in the address, hit go. For this example, we're going to Target. So then it would ask you where you're coming from, and you would either type in a pickup spot or use your location um, <clears throat> to um, be picked up from. Uh, it would then ask you what kind of route you'd want to take. So you can take an eco route or a fast route, um, depending on how urgent you need to get there. So you'd select one of those and hit next. And then it takes you to this map um, where it tells you the route and how long it'll take and what the traffic is like. And this little icon down here allows you to edit your parking. So you would hit that and it would take you to here. Um, and you can select a different zone based on whatever store you go to. That would be programmed in cooperation with the store and the app software developer. So then if you pick, in this case we're picking zone C, and it'll, take, it'll show you um, which spots are available and which are taken. So in this case, Pink is taken, blue is available, so you'd select one of the blue spots and hit next. And then it would ask you if you want to be dropped off at the front of the store. So in this case, we're going to say yes. And then it will show you um, the front of the store and what the two drop-off points are, um, especially in relation to the parking spots. And then it would go and park itself. So then after all that, it'll show you exactly um, the GPS navigation, which will probably also show up on your screen, your console screen in your car. And there's also the hamburger menu that allows you to access different parts of the app from anywhere. So you can see your current trip, you can go to your account, you can see your past trips and your settings. And for the next app, we're going to um, explore um, having your car go and pick up groceries for you on, on, in an unmanned trip. So the app would open up and it'll show you this. And it'll ask you where you want to go and you can select manned trip or unmanned trip. In this case, we're selecting unmanned because we're picking up groceries. Um, so the perp it'll ask you the purpose of your trip, and you can select picking someone up, dropping someone off, picking up groceries, picking up a takeout order, or other. So in this case, we're picking up groceries. It'll then ask you where you're picking up the groceries from, so you type in the location and hit next. Um, it'll then pull up a map of where it thinks the location is, or where the address says it is. And you'll confirm that. It'll also show the minutes away it is. Uh, and hit next. It's just a double confirmation to make sure you're going to the right location. Um, then it'll ask you what time you want your order to be picked up. So after you place your order through the store website, it'll give you a pickup time. So you can then input that here and hit next. Or if it's in the past or whatever, you can just hit uh, as soon as possible. So then it takes you to this screen which is sort of the last screen before like sending your car out. So <clears throat> you have a couple of options. You can select your parking for the pickup. You can sp uh, select special instructions uh, or a pickup message. So let's say we hit uh, select parking. It'll take you to this, another zoned um, <coughs> app screen. So you select the zone that your number is in. Then you select the spot number since usually stores have specific parking numbers or parking spot numbers for pickup orders. Um, and then special instructions, you could uh, tell the employee where you want to put your groceries and also any additional messages. Um, and then the pickup message is just the default one that the car will relay to the employee regardless of if you put a special instruction. So once you've edited all that, you can hit send car. It'll show you the trip and also the progress your car is making. And then once all of your groceries have been picked up, um, it'll show you this, a notification screen that says success, your groceries are in the car and on the way home. And then an ETA for when they're going to arrive home. For my question for my critique, I want to know, I'm curious what I can do to make this process a little more streamlined. It feels like a lot of pages right now, so I'm wondering if there's a way I can consolidate a lot of these um, into fewer pages so it's a little easier for the user. Okay, thank you.